what is this? What is this? Look at how nice this flatbed is. Look how, how tight those straps are compared to that other truck that I showed. And someone hit me up was like, why do you not tell that driver? It was late at night and one thing you don't do, you don't tell these drivers how to do their job. As we say in the, in the trucking, you stay in your lane. And then I had a lot of drivers say, why don't you call Highway Patrol? Um, last time I checked, we all have a phone. So the one thing I do with my channel is, the reason why I show a lot of y'all is to, for a wake-up call for everybody. Y'all be careful when y'all out here just driving in your, in your regular cars and trucks. You better start paying attention to what's your, uh, your surroundings. You know, this is more so for you guys. So, once again, it's everybody's responsibility. I'm just giving you a wake-up call, you know. Recognize it. What is this? Boop, boop. I'm just here chilling, just rewarm, rewarm some leftover Arby's and got a nice icy. And look at this, look at this, look at that. What is this? Say hello, say hello, Tag Nation. Hey, what's her name? Moon? Yeah. Look out, Moon, Moon, beautiful dog. Say hello, Tag Nation. Say hello, Tag Nation. Y'all, look at that. What is this? Boop, boop. So, for lunch, brunch today, I picked up a two for six of the Arby's sandwiches, sandwiches, roast beef classics. So we warming up, we warming them up, rewarming them up here at the TA Rock Wall. Hey, saving money, every dollar counts, right? All I gotta say is, what is this? Boop, boop. mighty close that's crazy he's trying to park on the other side of the truck right there and all he had to do was drive straight up that way right that yonder way and then they do a straight line straight back and straight line back and but he won't take it at an angle which this just dumb it's just don't make any sense that makes no sense and he gonna that makes no sense like you can't make this up that's his third pull up. His third pull up, now he finally done figured it out. That was not hard. Jeez, that was not hard. Now he's finally picking, figuring it out. He's gonna go straight up that way, like I said earlier, and shoot straight back in there. It's almost like a straight line back between the work the on red and the purple truck. That is not hard. What is this? That's right, we're at a truck stop. We at Rock Wall. Here in Rockwall, Texas at the TA. And that's the cool thing about driving tanker, because we're shorter than everybody else, right? So you know I got all this room from the red line, right? You see all that? Everybody got their nose behind the red line. So let me show the new drivers. This is what you don't want to do. You see this truck? See how he's all out past the red line? Let me show you something. Hold on. Okay, as you see, he didn't bag all the way back. And then he bagged near a pole back there, right? Cause he got eight to 10 feet sticking out. And then he got all that front end sticking out. And it just may get tore off. That front end just may get lit up. So you wanna always park behind that red line. 
Because in the nighttime, it just may get your nose tore off. What is this? Just going for a lovely walk here in Rockwall, Texas. I figure I'll shoot some videos today. Hello, how are you? Of course, took out my trash. And look what I find this object. Maybe it's something alien, extraterrestrial, you think? What do y'all think about it? Can someone tell me? I don't know if it, if it came from up yonder. Or could this be a message from heaven? I don't know. Can someone tell me? What is this? Twins over here, we're at Wally World, aka Walmart, trying to hang around with the tankers. Come on now, what y'all trying to do here? Huh? What's really going on? Beautiful day here in Rockwall, Texas. Beautiful day. Kind of windy, but gorgeous nevertheless. But like I was saying, Wally World, what is this? Boop boop. only difference between working for a wage and being a slave is that working for a wage is supposedly temporary. Being a wage slave is the absolute worst thing that you can possibly do with your life. It's just a fair, you know, it's a steady paycheck. I just take a damn job for a paycheck. Once you get into this shit, it just fucking latches onto you and you just can't get out. You are selling your time for money. This isn't what I was meant to do. Well, you're free to leave at any time. Yes, you're free to starve. That's exactly right. When I started this job, I wanted to plan my escape. But the plantation was more than an economic organization. I mean doing meaningless work just to pay the bills. A new report shows about 4 million Americans quit their jobs in April of this year. I want to be doing what I want to do. Yes. Um, I just want to build my own thing. Time is the thing that is most valuable in your life. Because once I've spent time, it's gone. Forever. From now on, whenever you bring on a new person, put them through this exercise. If they will not go through this exercise, do not waste a minute of your time with them. Because they will never be successful if they won't follow your guidance. Here's the exercise. Take a clean sheet of paper and write down goals and today's date. And then write down 10 goals that you would like to accomplish in the next 12 months. And write them in the present tense. I earn, I achieve, I weigh, I drive such and such a car, I own. And then you take this list of 10 and you say, if I had a magic wand and I could wave this magic wand and I could have any one goal on my list within 24 hours, which one goal would have the greatest positive impact on my life? And usually this will jump out at you. Put a circle around that goal. And that's a goal you transfer to a clean sheet of paper, and then you follow the seven steps. Write it down, set a deadline, make a list of everything you have to do to accomplish it, organize the list into a checklist, take action, and then do something every day. If you'll just do this, nothing can